another uh, another eagle. Another eagle. Yep. Juvenile. Oh wow. Eagle. Look at that. Oh wow, two of them. So whether it's eagles landing right behind your campsite, dog sledding, glacier viewing, wildlife fishing, Seward has something for everyone. We are Terry and Cindy O'Keefe. We've been camping together for more than 40 years, and we invite you to join us in a 12-episode adventure as we explore the Yukon and Alaska. The drive from Valdez to Seward takes you north again on the Richardson Highway. And then west on the Glen Highway towards Anchorage. We spent the first night on this part of the trip at the Grand View Cafe and RV Park. The views were indeed grand. The next morning we woke to heavy rain and flood warnings for the drive to Anchorage. And heavy rains can also mean a rock slide. But no damage done and we made it to Anchorage and the Golden Nugget Camper Park where we spent two days reprovisioning and then headed south, still driving in the rain, towards Seward. Seward has a bustling harbor with shops and restaurants. There's plenty of fishing charters and glacier and wildlife cruises to choose from. Seward also has a small downtown business section away from the harbor with even more shops and restaurants. From the organized excursions to the local wildlife seemingly putting on a show for us, uh, Seward provided many of the highlights of our trip. All set. I had really wanted to try dog sledding on this trip. So I booked an adventure with Turning Heads Kennel and Seward Helicopter Tours. They fly you to a Iditarod Teen summer camp that in 2022 was high atop the Godwin Glacier. The flight was unforgettable, soaring above Resurrection Bay and zooming across the Godwin Glacier. camp you get to ride with or even mush an Iditarod team in training. And then you get to play with the puppies for about 15-20 minutes. It was an experience I'll never forget. How was it? Oh my god, was, uh, I had no words. It was amazing. Was it? Yeah, it was amazing. The views from the, the helicopter, like just flying up on there, and he flies like, like this, all the way over the side. <laughs> yeah. And the dogs were amazing. They were all so friendly. Yeah, for the most part, we are at the northern end of a temperate rainforest that stretches from here all the way to Northern California. We'd had such an amazing uh, glacier and wildlife cruise in Valdez aboard the Lulu Bell that in Seward we decided to try something with a slight twist and we booked a dinner cruise with Kenai Fjords Tours.
On the cruise, we saw humpbacks and sea lions. Now the males in this species is quite large, a little bit larger than me, about 2,000 pounds. And of course, glaciers. And a highlight of the cruise was a group of dolls porpoises that decided to play and race in our boat's bow wave. Now when they happened upon us, I was actually standing right at the bow, but I had a telephoto lens on my camera, so the video was kind of close up and not the smoothest. But it was an incredible experience. In fact, the captain told us he'd never had uh, porpoises stay and frolic that long on any cruise he'd ever done. And uh, oh yeah, the uh, the crab cakes for dinner were pretty good. Very good. <laughs> sea urchins are really prickly. Also in Seward is the Alaska Sea Life Center. It's all it's a public aquarium and marine research center that also does animal rescue and rehabilitation. Hello guys. It was a great spot to spend a couple of hours on a rainy afternoon. But do be aware, it is also a popular spot with many of the tourists who visit Seward aboard cruise ships and can be a bit busy. Just to make out tiniest figures of people walking down there. The idea of the scale of this thing. A, another uh, interesting sight to see in Seward, it's just a short drive uh, outside town, is Exit Glacier. So the neat thing about the trail to the uh, Exit Glacier is there's signs all along the trail that show you in what year the toe of the glacier would have been at that spot. Located in Kenai Fjords National Park, there is a well-marked trail that you can hike that has markers indicating where the toe of the glacier used to be. 1951, this was the location of the toe. And uh, just a quick pop over here. And we can see where the glacier is today. And those markers provide a fascinating insight into how quickly Exit Glacier is retreating. Looks like I got to the top to enjoy the views just in time for the weather to turn here. So head back down. When we were leaving, I stopped and asked the rangers how long the glacier might still be viewable for, and was a little surprised by the answer. It was only another 15 to 20 years, which is really unfortunate. Um, but do keep in mind, if you do go to hike exit glacier, there are a few spots that are pretty rugged, and you're probably going to want to have some decent hiking boots for it. There are many great camping choices in Seward, with quite a few of them run by the city right on the waterfront. We stayed in the Resurrection Campground, where some of the sites have water and electric hookups, with a fire ring right on the beach. And there is a great waterfront walking or biking trail that will take you to the harbour in one direction, or to the downtown area and Sea Life Centre the other way. And you loved that trail. You and Ranger would disappear for hours and go off in your hot walks and hikes. Yeah, it was perfect because it's all cement, so it's easy to walk on even with the rain. Because we did want a waterfront site with electricity for our five-day stay in Seward, this was one of the spots we did make a reservation for way in advance. We loved camping here, and while it's basically a parking lot, the sites were well marked and a good size, and the views were incredible. 
And some nights, it felt like the wildlife was being paid to put on a performance right in front of our site. Okay, there's two daughters and two bald eagles. They disappeared. Get what it. are the chances? Oh, here they come. Get up, get up. <laughs> what are the chances? Oh, they're coming right up on shore, Cindy. Can you see him? Yep, yep, yep. Looking for the food. Oh my God. <laughs> well, the other sea otter just flew on by. I don't, I don't think the otter's gonna win that fight. No, there she goes. Oh, she's coming back. She's sneaking back. And now the other one sees him. <laughs> And when the eagles and river otters took a break, you could just sit and watch the comings and goings of the fishing fleet or the cruise ships. What's well, that, Ranger? And just one last note about uh, camping in Seward. Know that every day at noon, uh, they do test the tsunami warning system. What's that, eh? What is that, eh? Don't worry, it's not a tsunami. Just a test of the system. Seward provided some of the most memorable highlights of our entire trip. And I can't imagine any RV trip to Alaska being complete without spending uh, a few days there. If this information has been helpful to you, we'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, don't miss our next video where we'll be exploring Homer.